Hello, and I'm John, and welcome to uh, Bright Spark Ideas. Um, a month or so ago, I put three videos uh, on YouTube um, about how I built my three kilowatt off-grid um, solar system. Um, I've had some questions about what panels I use because I didn't cover that. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a quick overview of the panels. So let's go take a look. I've been asked uh, what uh, solar panels I had and uh, here's my uh, solar array. It consists of uh, four 100 watt panels. Uh, the panels are made by Rich Solar and um, the first two panels that you see are connected in series. The second two panels are connected in series and then the set is connected in parallel. Um, that then goes uh, down the conduit uh, to uh, a box and I'll show you that uh, as we move forward. Uh, the frame for the panels is just made out of three quarter inch uh, PVC and PVC fittings. Uh, the bottom uh, piece that you see there is adjustable so I can adjust the uh, actual angle of the panels based on uh, the uh, time of the year. Well, let's take a look at underneath so I can show you how I connected things. So to connect in series, uh, I have a positive and negative from the first two panels uh, and a positive and negative from the second two panels connected together. And then they're connected to these branch connectors. Um, I've got uh, two branch connectors. One here, uh, try not to shake you too much. One here and another one down there. And the wires from that go into that conduit there and I'll show you where that goes. The wires are connected and come down through this conduit here and up over the top uh, to the house and down here. So the two wires, uh, the uh, negative and positive wires from the panels come down here and into this box. And this is um, a eco-worthy uh, connection box and it's got four um, fuses on the left hand side there. They're 10 amp fuses but I'm actually only connected to one set. Uh, that's the uh, cables coming in down here. Um, so I have got uh, three more fuses that I can uh, add other panels to. Uh, there's the breaker and to the right of it the green is uh, the um, lightning connectors, uh, the lightning uh, fuses, and that is connected to uh, a ground down here. Um, the cables uh, from this panel come down into my basement, and that's pretty much the connection. So let's shut the door, and there we go. It's called an eco worthy. PV combiner box and I think it's a great neat tidy way of connecting things. When I first did this setup um, I originally had four panels connected in series which was giving me 80 volts and 5 amps at the solar charger. Um, as the lower amps means you can have thinner wire but I was uh, concerned about uh, some of the shading on the panels I was getting so I went with a compromise using the series and parallel connection. Uh, connecting in series parallel still provides 400 watts of power and the supply still meets the requirements of my solar charger at 40 volts and 10 amps. Uh, having all four of the panels uh, connected in, uh, in parallel would probably not have been a good idea um, as this would have meant uh, I would have needed much thicker wire and it certainly wouldn't have provided sufficient voltage at my solar charger. So that was just a quick video uh, about my uh, solar panels. Uh, I want to buy four more. Uh, I haven't quite figured out where to put them. I definitely need more panels uh, to take full advantage of uh, the capacity of the uh, GrowWatt 
uh, 3.5 kilowatt uh, system. So, um, and I could probably uh, double that again. So, um, I'm going to run with what I've got. If you have any questions about the panels, I really like the rich panels. They've been good so far. Very happy with the quality of the build and uh, the connections. They come with the uh, MC4 connectors already there. So very happy with that, with that from that point of view. Please leave your comments in the uh, uh, place below. Uh, you can also um, have um, the opportunity to like the video, which I'd appreciate, and subscribe, and I'll be doing more videos soon. Thank you. Stay safe.